Hey, everybody, I wanted to bring up something that's troubling me a little bit, and that's the stories that I've been hearing that people have been requesting their refund for their pre-order of the Intellivision Amico and have gotten radio silence from them, have not gotten uh, their refunds either. And this is troubling to me. This signifies that Intellivision could be heading the bankruptcy route. They might be out of money already. You know, in their start engine campaign and the offering details, they said, and it was filed on uh, January 19th and it's March uh, 8th today, they said that they had one to two months worth of money left uh, in order to operate upon. So that money might already be gone by today. It's It's been over a month and we're closing in on two. So I went out and I asked people on Twitter and my YouTube channel, did you re request a refund? And if so, did you get it? Now, the only person I know who's recently got a refund was Brett Weiss, who does have some name recognition in the retro community and with the Intellivision Amico. So it's possible that he was just one of the last ones to get it, or it's also possible that whoever got his request, said, hey, we better make sure Brett gets his refund so he says good things about us in his next video or doesn't totally burn us to the ground. So there might have been some preferential treatment there, just speculating. And all this is is speculation. So I asked on my Twitter and one user, and I blocked out their names and images because I didn't ask permission to use them, so I don't know if they'd want me to or not. They probably wouldn't mind, but I'm just going to block them out just for integrity's sake. Uh, they said that they requested a refund on Saturday, still nothing on my end. And then they gave me a refund update today, just three hours ago, and they said still no refund. And by the way, Tony the Geek Getaway, he's publicly said he requested his refund last Wednesday, hasn't gotten it. And there's a guy on the Intellivision subreddit who goes by the name of Disco Stew, who's been waiting over a week for his refund and hasn't gotten it. No communication either. So over on my YouTube uh, channel in the community section. One user said, I asked at uh, Intellivision, Amico Intellivision last Thursday to cancel my order, the Amico Founders Day Edition. I've not heard back from them yet. Uh, another user said, I got an email from them saying they were going to send me a refund. Then a note asking my PayPal address since $100 was paid through PayPal. Have not heard anything uh, since despite emailing them three more times. So this person actually heard something from them. Uh, but uh, the communication has stopped. I got my refund way before last week when I got mine. They didn't send a confirmation email or anything. I just noticed the money had been refunded via PayPal. So there's some communication issues. I have heard in the past of people getting an email saying like, hey, we're going to send it to you and then they get it back. But in this case, the communication is just dropped. Here's another user. Hey, NSG, I requested a refund on uh, 2 15, February 15th, received a response within a couple of hours stating that the refund has been processed. However, I have not gotten the money. And he went on to clarify, I actually pre-ordered pre -ordered two. I canceled the first back in November and I did get my money back. Both emails were from Brittany T and were identical. So it's very possible. This is just speculation that Brittany T who was handling this she might not be with the company anymore. It's possible that they've downsized and whoever is issuing the refunds, they were let go or they found another job. And now it's just up to whoever's left behind in the office to do this. And maybe they don't even know how to do this. Who knows what's going on? Pure speculation. Uh, and then finally, yes, I pre-ordered last year. I asked for a return. It was forwarded to their customer service department, quote unquote, then nothing still waiting. And I asked when did they request it and they said not until last month sometime so that would have been back in february so there you go that's five different people on my just in the past 24 hours just putting it out on my twitter twitter and on my uh on my youtube community page just asking hey who happened to pre-order an amico and asked for a refund recently so that's a very small you know, pool size, if you will. And to get five responses, all of them in a negative looks really bad. Plus, I know Tony doesn't have one and another person on the Intellivision subreddit doesn't have one. And I know some people are like, oh, it's just $100. Well, to some people, $100 is a lot. $100 is a hard day's work, you know, to some people that it takes a while to earn. And some people had to save up that $100. But not just that, it's a principle of the thing, right? If their claim of, of having 6,000 pre-orders or so is true, that meant that they gathered $600,000 that they should have put in a, an escrow or in a bank account separate from their operating expenses until they ship the systems. I have a feeling they've dipped into that money, that they've been spending that money to pay themselves. So you're talking about 
paying themselves, paying some maybe some of their big time millionaire investors. Meanwhile, the people who are waiting, they haven't heard anything. So on television, if you're listening, do the right thing. Give these people their money back if they want to give it back. And if you produce a system, great, but it doesn't look good. The smoke smell, my smoke detector is getting louder and louder. I think this is turning into a fire and I really hope, but it's possible that we don't find out that they go bankrupt and these hundreds of thousands of dollars in pre-order went up in flames with it. Who knows? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I will see you next time.